Okay, it's the, uh, it's the 8th of November. The reason I know that, because tomorrow's my birthday. Can you believe that, Seth? I'm going to be 70 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. You just hit your prime, didn't you, Bob? Yeah, I'm just hitting my prime, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you keep telling me that, maybe I'll believe it. <laughs> prime time. Prime time. So I'm with Seth, Selena, and Brandon today. And what we're doing is we're going through last, very last check. Um, after this, nothing else will be done to these colonies for the rest of the season until spring, except for one thing. Um, we might have to do some winter feeding, which I've never done since I moved to Georgia. We're gonna have to come up with some, uh, I don't know, sugar patties or bricks or maybe use the mountain camp method, something. It's, it's been so warm that the colonies are just not holding on to their weight. And the other thing we're doing here is we're checking the colonies that got a nuke installed. Uh, several videos ago I showed us installing a nuke. Um, we did that for two reasons. Um, we did a late formic acid uh, from formic tr pro treatment. Uh, gosh, it's been about a month ago now. And we lost some queens doing that and we would put a nuke in to replace that queen. Or if we didn't like a queen, didn't like how she was doing a month ago, we would go ahead and kill her and introduce a nuke. So we're checking all those. All of those have an X on the lid, shows which ones they are. And the ape of our strips uh, were in the original nuke that came out of the five frame nuke box. That's why they're in there. I'm not treating my colonies uh, with ape of our in general. I just kind of a last ditch moment treatment on the nukes that were out, the queen mating nukes that were out in the field because they hadn't been treated enough. So all we're doing is looking for either the queen or the presence of uh, eggs or young larvae and we know she's there. But uh, everywhere we've gone so far today, it looks like all the nukes have taken, except for one yard didn't take two of them for some reason, we don't know why. But what's really catching our attention is these, these colonies will make it to January with the food they got. But once they start brooding up in early spring or late winter, they don't have enough food. You can also see we're giving them the last uh, uh, probiotic, Super DFM brand probiotic of the season. We've been averaging about once a month. Um, there's a, been getting a lot of comments from people questioning that. There's there is research showing it's definitely helpful, and there's also a little research that shows that it doesn't seem to make a difference. And perhaps at the end of this video, I'll uh, actually in the video description, I will put links to some of these research studies. Jorg provided me with a few that definitely seem to show that probiotics are good for bees. Where they really apparently it's, doesn't uh, have much to do with us, but apparently where probiotics are very helpful is in colonies that have been exposed to pesticides or fungicides. The other thing we're doing here is we want to make sure this colony is big enough to make it through winter. So just for the fun of it, just for the camera, let's let's take that apart. Let's see how many frames of bees you got in there. For just from the top it looks like a five to six framer, which is good. If it's got a good queen and it's healthy in our neighborhood, that'll do. We don't have large colonies going into winter because if you look closely with the camera, Seth, you can see these are almost all, you know, there are 70, 80, 90 percent dark bees. That's because we're really trying to push in the Caucasian and carniolan blood. So, yeah, you've got a, these pretty light, huh? pretty light in food. Yeah. yeah. It's got enough bees, there's no problem there. There's the queen right there. You can see that Caucasian queen. So they don't have, these Caucasian carniolan type of colonies don't go into winter with large clusters. And that suits me just fine in our area. We're in the Southern Appalachians. If I was trying to produce colonies that were gonna pollinate in the almonds or make early packages and stuff like that, I would uh, probably choose to have a lot more Italian in there. Let's see, that's not my high tool. See, do the bees go all the way to here? It looks like they do. Yeah, we're looking at five frames, six frames of bees. That's plenty big in this neighborhood. Not enough food there, so I guess we'll be doing something in January to keep them from starving. Might even start earlier. 
We've been feeding up until just recently. These a few buckets and jars that you see in the yard just were kind of not empty the last time we were here, so they're coming off. Um, we fed a lot, a lot of thin syrup, and then kind of made it a little thicker towards the end. But again, we just had so much warm weather that the, the bees tend to use more food in warm weather. I don't want to feed any more. Even though the weather is still uh, good enough for them to take syrup, I don't want to do it because I want them to shut down. Uh, because at the 1st of December, we want to do oxalic acid treatments. And if we keep feeding them syrup, uh, they'll have brood in them still, so we don't want that either. Kind of a quandary. Anyway, the bees look good. The colonies look good. I'm happy with that. Just wish they had a little more food in them. This one had a nuke put in it? No, it didn't. Did not, okay. No, so there's a difference. Those nukes that were installed are still laying eggs. The colonies that did not get a nuke installed uh, some of them are shutting down now completely. Right there would be where the brood is if it's there. This one's kind of heavy. They've got sealed brood. Yeah, they still got young larvae and a couple eggs, so they've definitely not shut down. No more food for you guys until after oxalic. This yard's a bit of a different story. Very simple. Um, all these double deeps are very heavy. That's one of the good things about double deeps over singles. You can get so much more food in them. We won't have to worry about these feeding in the middle of winter. All we're doing is lifting the lid, scraping off the burr comb on the lids and the top bars, giving them a probiotic and moving on. So far, it looks like all these colonies have lots of bees in them, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's another difference between double deeps and singles. They always, in, in our case, my experience, the double deeps always overwinter with more bees than a single does. I guess they have more brood late in the season. But yeah, these are in great shape. These will be prime colonies for splitting in the spring. And those clusters go all the way down through that top box into the bottom. Plenty of bees, plenty of weight. Every colony weighs 120 pounds plus. Another reason they might be uh, pretty heavy is we were double feeding them. We were feeding the inside feeder and a two gallon bucket on top. So that was really putting in the, the weight. Okay, this yard went well. All of the nukes that we installed here took no problems there. Um, we've had actually really good luck with the nukes we installed all over the place. Most of them took, just a few that didn't. This yard is very heavy like the other yard at Double Deeps. There is one difference and that is that there's not quite as many bees in these colonies and I know why. These bees are raised from our stock, that carniolan, Caucasian type stuff. And the queens in the other Double Deep yard were Chris Warner queens, which there's nothing wrong with those, but they have more Italian, and that's why they had more bees in them. I'm sure they reared brood a little later than these colonies did. These have shut down for the most part. Even though it's still warm, we're seeing very few with eggs or young larvae, so they'll be ready for oxalic acid before long. Had a little feed left in a couple of the buckets, so we just left it behind, let them finish it up. But, uh, but again, they're very heavy. This, is, this yard's in good shape as far as food goes for the winter.